been a, um, a comic book artist for the American and European market for almost 20 years. Uh, and I have worked on almost big titles that are, are all there. Uh, I have done for Marvel, I have done Elektra, uh, I have done Wolverine, X-Men, uh, Captain America, Spider-Man, The Avengers. And for DC, I have done Justice League, uh, Superman, Nightwing, Batman. I have done a lot of stuff. Um, I have also worked on, on some uh, Dark Horse comics, working alo alongside, with, alongside with Josh Whedon. Uh, I did Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I did Firefly. Serenity, Firefly. So I have done a lot of things. Uh, well, uh, it's a little, a little long but I'll try to make it short. Sure. Uh, I, I started, I, I always liked comics. Uh, I, I learned how to read and write with comics. Uh, but I never thought that I was going to work with comics because in Brazil it was very, very difficult to get, uh, to be able to live on comics. Um, so I started doing illustrations for magazines and companies in advertisement when I was very young, um, but I always liked to do comics and study comics. Uh, but but my parents they never they never thought that I would be able to make a living out of it. So I found out there was an agency in Brazil who was uh, representing some artists, some Brazilian artists for for the U.S. And I started sending samples. They liked some of my samples and and. Soon enough, I started getting very small works, very small jobs, and from there, I started being noticed by the bigger companies, and basically, that's that's how it started. Well, I just finished uh, a participation on Action Comics, okay, um, and after that, I was working on Batman. Now I'm wor I'm back working on a few pages of Superman, and I have uh, Justice League coming. I, I was pretty fortunate because I got to work with some of the guys that I admire already. Uh, I have worked with Brian Bendis, who's a great writer. Uh, I had the chance to work with Stan Lee. Uh, but, I don't know, um, Dan Jurgens. I've worked with most of the guys that I admire. But uh, there are a few ones that I would love to, I, I would love to look to able to work with Chris Claremont. Right. I never worked with him yet. It depends. Uh, I think there are two ways. Uh, if you want if you want to create your own comic book, if you want to work uh, for uh, your, your regional market, there are ways that are, uh, what's happening like what's happening in Brazil right now. Um, because uh, the, as I said the comic industry is not big enough there yet. But it's growing, it's growing a lot. Uh, I think basically first because of the movies, of right. course. And we are also, we are also having uh, some big events, like the comic convention you are having here. CCXP. Yeah, we had the CCXP, that is, right. it's huge. We had the FIC, that uh, is, is uh, every two years, but okay. it's also big. So these things happen, uh, happen to, to help a lot. Uh, also, we have some really good uh, Brazilian artists working for the American market now. Fabio Moon, Yeah, Fabio. Uh, there are others. There are Joe Bennett, uh, Mike Diorado. There's a lot of guys. Uh, myself, Ivan Reese. And, and, and because of that, a lot of people who usually didn't uh, know much about comics, they are like, oh, these guys are good. And uh, there is the, the the Brazilian version of Kickstarter, right. and people are, are creating their own comics there uh, through these uh, uh, crowdfunding websites. Correct. So that's helping a lot. But if the artist wants to get into the international market, I think uh, there are, either he has to find an agent that can put him in, con uh, in contact with uh, editors or he can try to contact uh, the editors himself. Uh, the main thing is, uh, the first thing is he has to be very, very uh, careful with his art.
because uh, the market is very, very tough. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the, especially the big companies, mm -hmm. your artwork must be in a very high level for them to hire you. Uh, and also, you have to be very, very professional. Uh, you have to, f to, to meet your deadlines, you have to talk to the editor, uh, you have to remember that if you fail, I mean, you, if you get a, a break and you, you, you get an assignment, you have to fulfill your assignment. Because, um, like now, I'm doing Superman. Right. I know that if I fail, there is a, at least a hundred artists yeah. who want the same job that, I, that I'm working on right now. So I have to be very, very careful, very professional. I have to talk to my editor. I mean, if anything is going to happen that is going to uh, prevent me to meet the deadline, I have to talk to my editor and say, oh, uh, I'm sick or this happened. So, yeah, so always keep in contact and try to, to meet your deadlines.